welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and welcome to Coffee and Toys, the channel update, guys. How have you all been? It has been uh, quite a bit since I've, you know, done any kind of in front of the camera kind of work, let alone any kind of actual work with any kind of camera or videos this year. Um, and I will tell you exactly why in this uh, I don't want to say it's a Coffee and Toys podcast episode because it's just a channel update, um, but we're going to be going in depth into where I've been, what I've been up to, um, why I kind of took a break and took a step back from you know doing videos and whatnot, and um, what the future of the channel holds. But um, as always, I do want to thank the channel sponsor, Entertainment Earth. If you can, please check out my Entertainment Earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures and help support the channel, as well as shout out and thank you to my friends over at Diamond Select. And without further ado. Once again, guys, welcome back to Coffee and Toys, the channel update. Um, this is actually not coffee. This is an energy drink. I kind of had no intentions of filming this video today, but the time kind of came to me. And so I figured why not sit down, uh, get this video done because uh, within the next week, hopefully we should be rolling with everything that I want to be doing with this channel. So uh, starting off, where have I been? What have I been doing? So um I just had to take a break guys you know I kind of was forcing myself to put out videos and by nobody's means it was all basically just me being on top of me see I am my biggest and harshest critic and I am my biggest and harshest um, motivator and pusher so it's like nobody was pushing me to make these videos nobody was telling me I had to make these videos but myself um, so I had to really just take a step back and relax and just kind of enjoy life, which I kind of did from bodybuilding for two years, these past two years. And it was really nice. Um, but I kind of feel that time with this channel and toy collecting. And so once I did decide that, you know, maybe potentially this year I wanted to compete, I had to, you know, kind of get in the right mindset and being on top of myself, stressing myself out over trying to get videos out was not the way to be going into a prep for bodybuilding and stuff like that. So um, a little around April, I believe it was, I kind of just lost interest in making videos. I, you know, when I first started, I had fun with it. That was the whole point of this channel was for me to have fun showing off my collection um, and showing off the cool articulation and features, paint apps of, of all these great figures that I've been collecting. And along the way, I kind of lost that sense of fun and excitement. You know, I was looking at it more as like a chore and something that I had to do that I really wasn't enjoying so much anymore. So I definitely had to take a step back and, you know, had to just be a collector for a while and not a reviewer and YouTuber at the same time. And I didn't stop collecting. I still continue to collect throughout the year. Um, and I've picked up some great figures, guys. Man, this year's top 10 is going to be amazing. Um, but now I've kind of gotten that spark again where I want to start doing more toy photography. I want to do reviews again. But I want to do them in a more fun and an engaging way. Um, so uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more later. So aside from taking a step back, I also decided that I wanted to take a step back onto the bodybuilding competing stage. And so like I said, for the past two years, I have taken two years off from that. And it's been amazing. I've been able to live my life, travel, collect, start this YouTube channel, grow, just live life. Um, but at the same time, I have missed competing the entire time. And I always told myself two years was going to be it. Um, in fact, originally it was technically a year and a half. But you guys know how time goes. It flies by. And uh, next thing you know, you're at two years. And so at that mark, I was like, you know what? It's been two years. I got to get back on stage. I got to get back on my path and journey to becoming an IFBB pro. And so that's what I did this year. I decided to compete in my 16th and my 17th bodybuilding show uh, in the last seven years and um, I was able to accomplish something that I had never done before in those 17 shows 
or 16 shows and I would have never been able to put my mind into it as much as I did had I still been doing this YouTube channel kind of stressing over getting videos out staying up super late editing filming taking pics doing all sorts of stuff that would have really hindered my physique and my overall hard work and you know my investment because aside from just the hard work you know you're investing in food you're investing in supplements you're investing in time there's so many investments that you have to invest in for a bodybuilding show um, if you do things that are going to detract you from it take away from it then there's really no point in making such an investment you know you have to really be all in uh, for you to see the results and so that's why when I had already decided to kind of take a step back from this channel due to burnout, that's when I really saw the opportunity to step back on stage in a very successful way. And I was able to walk away with, the main goal was a national qualification so that way I can go to nationals next year and compete for my pro card. Um, but the main goal is always overall. And overall is essentially you are the best in the show in your division. And so, we accomplished the national qualification and we actually got an overall guys um, something that I've been striving to do for the past seven years nine if you count the two years that I've been off um, and I finally accomplished it in my 17th show um, I'll be honest it's a cheap little 3d printed uh, trophy they used to give us you know really good trophies back in the day um, so you would actually get two trophies you get your one for first place in your category you get your overall and then you would actually get a sword um, that was really cool I was really hoping to win one of those swords one of the one of these days but um someone had to go and stab someone with their sword so yeah they don't offer the sword no more but um it's not about the trophy it's about the national qualification and the title um, so with that being said, I am going to be doing nationals next year, so I may be slowing down around June of next year to about September, October. Um, that's when I'll be prepping. I'm going to try and get as much done uh, beforehand so I can have a bunch of stuff ready to go uploaded and kind of utilize the Coffee and Toys Weekend podcast as a decompressant and something that I can use to just kind of relieve my stress and not think about competition and just talk toys and have some fun uh so yes coffee and toys will be returning i'll get into that a bit later too but um so right now i'm in the point where i want to continue the channel but i want to do it on my terms i mean it's always been on my terms uh but it's been in a very like this is your job Ter kind of terms which is not even true I make absolutely no money from these videos it's just absolutely all fun and hobby for me um, so when I say I'm gonna do it on my terms now what I mean by that is that I am NOT going to stress if I do not get a video up and out um, I'm also gonna be cutting back on the types of videos that I'm gonna be doing so I guess we've kind of moved into the section of what we're gonna be doing with the channel in the future um, we've kind of already left behind what I've been doing what I've been up to why I left um, and now just looking towards the future so like I said coffee and toys will return will it be a weekly show will it be a bi-weekly show will it be a once a month show I'm not too sure yet we'll find out once we get there um, but I have been working slowly to build up a good library of videos in order to edit and upload so that way I'm not stressing and struggling and staying up till 3, 4 in the morning to try and get shit up for you guys. Um, so I have been taking a lot of pics for the review pics. I have not actually filmed any review videos. I've been really sluggish on that part but um, I have been working slowly. Like I said, I am not going to burn myself out this time. Um, so starting out I am going to do a full like three weeks almost if not maybe four weeks of all diamond select product because shout out and thank you to my friends over at diamond select for helping me get out of this little rut that I was in and sending me over a giant care package full of um, not only figures but some amazing gallery statues so those reviews will be up first and foremost man I forgot to mention this at the beginning but I will actually be doing a pretty fun giveaway so like I said Diamond Select did send me over a box full of amazing figures and gallery statues however they did this earlier in the year in January and they also 
gave me this guy earlier in the year January so I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway with this guy right here so that will come at a later date but I did want to announce that a giveaway will be coming within the, at least the next two weeks uh, I want to get it to the person before Christmas if I can uh, but I will be making a post maybe a short here on YouTube as well as a quick little video um, but aside from that guys uh, after that we got so many toys uh, to look at after we get through all those great diamond select figures that uh, they generously sent over for me to review and shoot for you guys um, as you can see I have not stopped collecting Mezco obviously um, I could not pass up on this behemoth this guy is absolutely beautiful um, so we will definitely be taking a look at at the review for this giant thing i mean we've already seen the review for gomez the void wars gomez because i did pick him up separately um but now we get to take a look at his actual exosuit so that'll be a fun review to do um it was a fun review to shoot in terms of photography but it was also a cumbersome one um, because it does get into some pretty decent poses it is quite articulate the issue I was running into was my diorama size. This thing is so massive that it was outsizing my diorama, uh, my space station diorama. So that was that was a bit of a challenge, but we still had some fun with it. I think the pictures came out pretty great. I tried to utilize angles and perspective and depth perspective as much as I could to try and fit them into it. And I think I did a pretty decent job, but yeah, so... Like I said, I am going to be cutting back on the types of videos that I'm going to be uploading, guys. So beforehand, as you guys know, I would upload, you know, almost daily reviews. I would upload a Wednesday in-depth behind-the-scenes toy photography video. And on Friday, I would release a behind-the-scenes toy photography video for uh, the review picks that I did for that week. Those two mini-series um, are gone. Um, they take up a lot of time to do, um, especially those in-depth ones because I would have to leave the scene set up and I would be able to shoot it with my family around and stuff because, you know, you're just taking pictures and stuff. But when it came down to having to actually film the video, I would have to wait for them to either go to bed or leave for the next day and I'd have to leave it set up and that would prevent me from taking other pics that I needed to take and blah, blah, blah. So it was just a lot of hassle and mess. So... Um, I may do them occasionally, every once in a while, just whenever I'm feeling them and for fun, um, but they're not going to be a weekly thing anymore. And same thing with the end of the week behind the scenes. It's just, it was a lot to set up a, uh, not, I was going to say slow motion, but a time lapse video as well as um, shoot. And there was times where I would forget to set up the time lapse and that would throw off the whole week because the time lapse videos only last about 15 seconds. So if I had three, 15 second videos and then all of a sudden I forgot to do one so then I only have 30 seconds it it became a very hard to narrate video series just because of the short length of them and so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and in their places I think I'm just gonna fill them with reviews because like I said guys I have so I'm behind on so many reviews um, from stuff I've collected throughout the years that um, I can definitely fill up a few months worth with just what I've collected in this past year going into next year um but you know going into next year i don't really see much coming out you know um i've really not picked up anything from black series mcfarland really hasn't uh, aside from the dark night wave i haven't really seen anything from them that's really wowed me um the only one that i would say that i'd be picking up quite a bit from and that's because uh, i'm just going to be doing it up slowly is uh, the indiana jones line because I did get into that and so I've been seeing them slowly start to go on sale and stuff uh, so whenever I see that I will slowly pick one uh, one or two up here and there uh, but yeah there's really nothing else that's like really catching my attention I've kind of started to go towards more statues and one six and more just like soft good one twelfth scale figures um, you know putting my money more towards those kinds of figures and whatnot um, not just because money inflation and all that stuff but because they've done all the figures already they've done all the great characters already in my opinion for say you know black series or mcfarland uh the really only budget style kind of category figures that i'm still looking forward to are of course the NECA tmnt in all aspects the mirage the 
uh, Last Ronin, in the cartoon the movies whatever they want to give us um, but aside from that I'm not really collecting budget figures anymore I aside from them not having characters that I want I really don't have the space at this point um, so I I don't even know where I'm gonna fit in all those figures that I have in a box for uh, reviews that I have to do for you guys that's gonna be a fun thing uh, but talking about that I will be doing a uh, collection review or collection tour very soon I know I've been saying that for a very very long time but it's one of those things where like as soon as I'm ready to do it I get something new and I'm like okay I need to put this into the collection first and then I'll do the collection tour you know but it's one of those things where it's also like it's never gonna be complete you know what I mean as much as I want to wait for it to be complete it's never gonna be complete so um, I'm hoping to get out a collection tour by the end of 2023 so I can at least do one at least once a year maybe twice a year we'll see how it goes um, I will be doing a top 10 figures of 2023 coming up. I've already got my list going. Uh, I'm going to restrict it to only 112 scale figures. Um, oh, talking about stuff I'm not going to be doing anymore on the channel. Uh, I'm not going to be doing 16 scale reviews. Uh, my studio is just not equipped for it. They are really cumbersome. Um, and I, I always feel like I'm messing them up trying to do the reviews for them because, you know, you're trying to push the joints, show the joints and all this stuff. And... I, I don't like handling my 1-6 scale figures that much, you know what I mean? Putting my oils on my skin and everything. Um, I like to pose them up, display them, put them in my display case, and that's that. Uh, so I won't be doing 1-6 scale reviews anymore, uh, just strictly one twelve scale. Uh, however, for Coffee and Toys, the podcast, um, I was really in a point where I was like, should I even restart it? Because I felt like it was just a plain ripoff of so many of these toy news channels or videos that these amazing toy channels already do much like the foosh but i thought what can i do to differentiate myself from say a uh, series like the foosh's weekly uh toy talk and it actually came to me while i was watching one of their weeklies because robo was saying like oh i only do 112 that's all i do 112 112 112 and I thought, hey, well, I could do one twelfth, I could do one tenth, I could do one fourth. I keep banging my head up against this bat wing. Um, so as I feel like as long as I talk about multiple scales, it's going to be different enough for you guys that you're going to want to tune in. Um, I am going to be making some changes to Coffee and Toys as well. It's not going to be as elongated as rambling and stuff like that, kind of like how this video is right now. But um I'm going to try to make it more about just the toy news. Uh, try to cut down my editing. Uh, so that way I can put out a podcast for you guys. But at the same time, uh, make it more on point. You know, I feel like it was a little ADD of me where I was kind of all over the place. And then it's like, okay, now let's get into the toy news almost an hour in. You know, it's like, um, you know, so no weekly toy hauls. It's not like I'm picking up stuff as frequently as I used to be anyways. Um, I'm not going to be talking about the channel, you know, for an update. If anything, I'm going to just do a separate channel update video. Um, so it will strictly be the toy news of that week. So that way we can get it done, have a nice little discussion, and then go about our weekend. I'm not saying it's going to be a short one. You know, it may still be 45 minutes to an hour, but it's going to be mainly focused around the toys. You know, re-watching some of my past Coffee and Toys podcast episodes, I found myself spending more time talking about the channel future of the channel the toy haul of the week and then i would get to the toys and by that time i was so just ready to be done filming that i was just kind of rapid fire blah 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 blah, blah. and so i kind of want to spend a little more time talking about these new releases and showing them and uh the images and all that stuff so i want to just focus more in on that um so we talked about the tour coming we talked about the changes to the channel coming we talked about the changes to coffee and toys coming um i don't really think there's anything else other than that um let me think let me think pretty much covered everything that we needed to um like i said it's been a while since i've actually wanted to do any of this uh i just been burnt out i've been doing so much other stuff um but now 
I'm kind of in the headspace where I want to come back to this in a fun way and I want to start talking with you guys again with these discussions of these new toys, old toys, all sorts of different toys. Um, so with that being said, hopefully starting next week, the first week of December, we will get the first review out um, for you guys. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> it's Thursday now when I'm filming this. I'll probably put this out on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to try and record videos tonight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so that way I can edit and have some stuff good and ready for you guys, but we'll see how stuff works out, but until then guys, stay tuned for the giveaway of this amazing Marvel Select Human Torch. I was going to say Flaming Man. Why was I going to say Flaming Man? I'm thinking, I think I'm hungry. I'm thinking of Flaming Hot Cheetos. That's, that's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm thinking of Flaming Hot Cheetos. Now that, I'm not a, now that I'm not on prep, guys, and I can eat chips... I'm going to be honest, that's what I'm thinking about 99% of the time. <laughs> that's my one weakness when I'm on prep. I can stay away from cake. I can stay away from fast food. But you put a bag of chips or sour candy in front of me, you're going to see me sweat and maybe cry just a little bit because I can't eat it. But um, yeah, we're past that. We're in a great space now. We're eating amazing food, eating some good calories, some good carbs, lifting some heavy weight, and collecting some great toys so with all of that being said guys if you haven't already please i would really appreciate you leaving a like on this video and subscribing if you haven't already and like i said at the beginning shout out and thank you to the channel sponsor entertainment earth check out my entertainment earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out some cool figures and help support the channel and once again one more time thank you and shout out to my friends over at diamond select for sending over some amazing figures gallery statues for me to shoot and review and one for me to give away to you guys. With all that being said, I've been your host, Jesse the Bad Madrigal, aka The Buff Collector. And as always, have a great fucking day.